Get off the right wheel. Well, I really want to be the first, I'm sure, to welcome some of you to Atlantic City. I know that you guys travel a long ways to get here, and we really appreciate your effort to get here. And, and I love presenting CBD because it truly is my passion. Um, I started this three years ago when a good friend of mine said, hey, Jen, you're not retired. You're going to come you know, change the way people look at health. And that's how I got started in this. So, you know, it's, it really does change the way people look at health and the way we can address health issues. And so, you know, we're on a journey with this. You know, there's still things being defined. As you guys know, there's a, lots of bumps and bruises that, have, that go along the way because people say, oh, you're going to get high. You can't do that. Or, oh, you know, it's not healthy for you. You know, what, what we do here at Oxygen is make sure that all of the issues that come along the way, that you have the support to back you. I've been in the health and beauty space for 35 years. You know, I, I know a little bit about this space and, you know, where to go find the right stuff and the right quality and, and make sure that we're doing everything correctly so that you guys can grow this business and be very successful in the process. So. With that in mind, let me go ahead and get started. You, know, you guys all know me as the oxygen lady. That works just fine. You know, officially I have another name, but I'm the oxygen lady. <laughs> so anyway, let's, let's first just kind of go through the opportunity that's kind of in front of you. Um, there's a lot of information that's been going out there right now in terms of industry experts showing trends, who's buying, where are they buying it? What types of products are they buying? And so I really want to start today with that kind of information, just so that you understand the scope of what we've got going on. Um, of course, Nelson has all sorts of great new products to tell you tomorrow. I am not telling you anything about any new products because I, you know, as we were just talking back there, I value my head and I don't want to lose it, okay? <laughs> so with that in mind, you know, we're going to go over what we have in place. And then tomorrow I can, at, behind the booth, I can ask any specific questions you have about the brand new products because they are going to be awesome. So anyway, the market in general is still growing. You continue to hear it's going to be a 200 or a $22 billion industry. But I have heard numbers as much as 200 billion globally by 2025. So if you think of it that way, this space is just going to explode. But even, if, even at 22 billion, that's a big number. You know? It, so there is so much opportunity out there. And the interesting thing is, is people are starting to understand it a little bit. And, you know, what, what quite often comes to me is, what is this CBD? You know, where, where did it come from? It's all of a sudden in the news everywhere. And it is. You know, the farm bill got passed last December. It was our Christmas present, basically, to really, you know, help us in the space of, you know, really being out there and not having to deal with as many issues. Um, you know, the WADA, the World Anti-Doping Association for Olympic athletes said, hey, our athletes need this. As long as it doesn't have THC in it, our athletes need this. So we're starting to see, you know, this openness. So what, what I love, and you guys, you, anybody who's heard me before, know I come from the, from the network marketing space. That's what I've done my whole life. And what is so cool about what you guys do is you're able to create that relationship with people. You're able to say to somebody, hey, have you heard about CBD? And they'll say, yeah, I've heard about it, but I don't understand anything about it. And that's your opportunity to really start to educate people and create that relationship. And we all know that if you've created a relationship with somebody, that's your ability to sell to somebody. If you've taught them, you'd under, you create the understanding, they're going to buy from you. They're not going to go to the CVS down the street where they don't know the product. They don't have somebody that they can go find and ask a question of. They're going to come to you because you can answer their questions. So this is what it's all about. 
in this space is really creating that relationship. I'm sorry. I don't know why not. Cynthia says I don't know why not, so we'll figure out figure it out. She's my partner in crime. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, she's great. <laughs> so, just so you know, so it's it's when your products are delivered. It's Cynthia who makes it happen. So she's great. <laughs> so anyway, they, you know, we ha it's, it's all about, you know, for me too, it's about a relationship. We, need, we work together very closely to make sure we get you what you need so that you can provide your customer what you need. So anyway, so CBD effectiveness, it really has to do with the endocannabinoid system. And you've heard this before, but... You know, let me go a little more in depth this today than I have in the past. It has to do with the receptors. You've got a CB, you've got a CB1 and a CB2 receptor specifically that create this interaction with an endocannabinoid system. And each one of these receptors actually have a specific benefit. You know, where where do they interact with? How do they work with that specific area? So like you'll see in the CBD1, you'll see the brain. You know, when you hear a lot of this relaxation, you hear a lot of you know, memory kinds of things, a sense of calming, de-stressing, it's because of that CB, our CB1 receptor that's interacting with the endocannabinoid system saying, hey, I'm fed, you know, I'm ready to help you, what can I do for you? And so that's what that receptor is kind of doing in terms of communicating with the body saying, hey, I got gotcha, you, you know, and here's where I'm going to help you. So look at it from a, from a CBD1. You're looking at the brain, you're looking at the lungs, you're looking at muscles, digestive, immune, liver. I mean, there's a whole list. When you then look at the CB2, you're looking at bone, you're looking at skin, you're once again immune, the spleen, you know, those are the areas that those that endocannabinoid system is talking to and saying, hey, I got gotcha. you. You know, I'm feeding you. Here I am. So that's, so that's what you have to think about it is you're feeding with CBD this endocannabinoid system. And this endocannabinoid system is saying to your body, I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. You know, we can't make specific claims on what it does, but we can say it's feeding this system. And because it feeds this system, I gotcha. I mean, think of it in that way. And that, you know, that, people get it too. You know, we don't have to get real technical with people. The more technical you get, the more you lose them. So you can just say, hey, I'm feeding the system. It's gotcha. So then when you look at products, let's, let's look at the products of what, what are being sold. Lotions, creams, and topical products. Well, one is, let's, I'm going to be real, that's the category the FDA likes the best. And so those are, those are where you're starting to see the products more in a retail space, <clears throat> in classical retail space. So that's why you see that as number one. But it's also our top selling products. I mean, think about how much intense relief rub we've sold and how well that works for people. Or think about the anti-aging serums or relief. Those are all topical products, and those are in the top category of products that are being sold and that people are looking for. And the other great thing about those products is you can feel and see the results. Okay? Then you've got gummies. We'll just draw a little pass over that one at the moment. Then tinctures, of course. Um, and tinctures, you know, whether it's a 500, a 1,000, a 1,500, tinctures, as you can see, are those, those three actually make up um, over 50% of the sales. So those are the products that we're focusing on in the process. Vapes, yeah, well, you know, with all the recent news, that's an opportunity to kind of say, hey, I got all these options instead of vapes. So let's just look at it that way. There is, vapes have always made me a little nervous just because of, you know, we don't understand exactly how they work. 
you know, most of the cases with the vapes is really the fact that they were made by somebody who didn't understand the quality. And those issues are really what's coming back to haunt people. So as long as you're getting product through FDA facilities, which all of our products come through an FDA facility, and we're getting more and more products through an OTC facility. Do you guys know what the difference is between FDA and OTC? Let me tell you. I always know fun facts. So FDA is, is actually certified saying you've got specific quality standards in place. You've got paperwork in place that shows every ingredient that you bring into that facility has a documentation to say exactly what it is. You've got a paper formula that, that you use before you put product into production, and you follow that all the way through. And at the end, you do the testing to make sure that there's no bacteria, there's no microbes, that the product is what it is. And so it's a process for all food and drug products to go through for the FDA to say, yes, this is a safe product. Now the OTC, OTC stands for over-the-counter drug. So as you can imagine, a product that's kind of a food and nutrition is one level of standards. OTC, just by the nature of over-the-counter drugs, says, hey, it's another benchmark all that much higher. So we are getting a lot more products from OTC um, to make sure that the quality continues to be there. Now, OTC facilities don't make a lot of products either, so we have to, you know, figure out who will do, because they're, you know, they're used to making aspirin. They're not used to making CBD. So, we, you know, it's a lot of this finagling and figuring it out, but we're always going to make sure you've got the best quality products out there and the best manufacturing and standards in place so that when you sell a product, you can feel confident that what you're selling is what you said it was and that it's safe. I mean, not every, there's still a lot of CBD products made in facilities that don't have any standards whatsoever. I, they don't always have standards in terms of, I mean, they have standards in terms of cleanliness and production protocols, but they don't have standards in terms of what products have to be. OTC, okay, so as an example, OTC, if you want to make a pain claim, and actually make a pain claim, it has to be made in an OTC facility. And not only does it have to be made in an OTC facility, but it has to be made with a monograph ingredient, i.e. menthol, at a certain percent of the formula to make sure that the claim of pain is backed by that menthol ingredient made in an OTC facility. So lots of interesting things to just kind of understand. And like I said, that's, that's what I'm trying to do today is to give you some fun facts so that as you're creating that relationship with somebody, you can actually say, hey, I got gotcha. um, Here, Where are customers buying? I found this chart very interesting. Look at the MLM. There's 100 companies selling CBD right now. Who do we know? I know you guys. I can maybe name a couple others, but most of these companies are small companies. Smaller than you by a long shot. So think about what you can do in terms of growing your network marketing by the story you're telling. So, you know, once again, you're seeing a lot in more traditional spaces, but MLM's a great way to sell this product or network marketing. And and I can tell you right now, you're one of the biggest ones out there selling this product. So take advantage of it, guys. So, as I told you, I did this information a little bit ago. So see the vape? I suspect if you uh, took a, a new survey today, it might look different. But <laughs> we'll, we'll just leave it that way because that was the chart I had and the official chart I had from a while ago. So anyway, you look at that and... and 58% are women, interestingly enough. So, thi so think of it as, as, in terms of who the customer is. 80% of the people using CBD will use it once a week. And 41% of it, the people use it daily. Now, if they understand the benefits of this product, particularly that 80%, 
they truly understood the benefits of this product, wouldn't they be using it daily? So you kind of say it, it's, it, there's still so much education that needs to go on in terms of why you do this, why you take it, the benefits of this. When you look at that kind of information, you know, you kind of say, yeah, vapes are a little scary. You know, I talk to women. Women tend to buy for the household. That's probably why you see the 58% there. W once a week, though, is just crazy. If somebody really understands the benefits, they're going to use it daily, not once a week. Here's a little more information. So when you start looking at the ages, you know, you've got 35 to 49. You know, that goes back to women head of household tend to buy for the family. So that's why you see the spike there in the middle. And then you see that it's, it's pretty traditional uh, age range that you would see for any consumer product. So as it's growing in, in knowledge, you're starting to see a very traditional looking uh, age range in terms of who's buying it. Um, then when you look at some additional information that I like to look at is there's not, there's not a specific income group either. Look at there down here at the bottom. Every, in, I mean, there's not like a, not like a single age, uh, income bracket that stands out. It's everybody buying it because they understand the benefit. Those who are buying it understand the benefits that it can help improve my health, help improve my daily lifestyle. So you, d so you see people who are lower incomes finding a way to buy it, and the people with higher incomes, you know, are also j buying it. So it's, uh, I look at this chart and go, everything about this information says we just need to talk to people. It's all about the education. Because if people understand it, it's not a single person out there that, or demographic that would say, no, I don't need that. You can talk to anybody. That's what this chart says to me. There's not a person who isn't interested. Just start talking to people. Okay, let's talk a little bit. I, so I, like I said, I wanted to give you a, just a feel of what's happening in the marketplace so you really can say, yeah, I understand my market. So let's talk a little more about the products themselves. So first of all, we talked about topical products, skincare products. They're the hottest category in terms of the amount of sales. So let's start with those particular products. And, and I'm going to kind of go over them quickly because my goal here is to kind of go through everything and be finished up. So I've got like 15 to 20 minutes to answer questions. Okay? So, you know, if you've got specific questions at the end, I can get into it. But what I want to do is have everybody understand the general information behind the products. Cause some of these products... I, what did we launch these, two years ago? Yeah, so I was up here telling every ingredient on these products two years ago. Now we got a, a lot more of them, and we don't have time to go through every ingredient. So we're going to kind of go through, you know, the more of the general information. Um, so when you look at that, rescue moisturizer. So here's how I like to think of products. So I'm going to, you'll see information up here, but here's where I'm, go I'm going to want to go over today is, what do they kind of do and how do I talk about these, okay? So rescue moisturizer. Rescue in the name itself says I'm rescuing you from something. I'm rescuing you from something. So if somebody has a skin condition, you know, like a real dry uh, skin patch or a pigmentation issue or this, the skin is just really uneven, you know, it could be hives of some type, you know, those kinds of things. Think of it in terms of rescue is going to rescue from a skin condition. That's the easiest way to remember it. It's vitamin E and lavender that are the key ingredients that allow you to be rescued. And then, of course, CBD. But anyway, it's, it's, there's a variety of ingredients. But the key is I'm going to be rescued. That's, that's the rescue product. Anti-aging moisturizer has collagens and peptides, and so it helps with fine lines and wrinkles. It's my favorite product. So I know you guys have all heard me say, I'm 60. I'm good with that. You know? It's products, and, in, and specifically today, oxygen anti, an, 
anti-aging moisturizer that allow my skin to firm and tone, not show a lot of wrinkles. You know, I, I believe I've aged well. You take it for what it's worth. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's, in, it's products like the anti-aging that helps with the fine lines and wrinkles. You know, the big, the big wrinkles I got here in the middle of my forehead, I figure I just earned those. You know, I, I had to work six years to get those. I'm going to keep those. But, you know, all the, all the fine lines and, you know, sometimes you see people's skin really sagging. This is going to help with that sagging, that, that the puffiness, the, you know, just the better look and condition of your skin. Then, of course, you've got the anti-aging serum, and that's specifically designed for your eyes. It, you can put it all over your face, but it's specifically designed for your eyes. And, and what I love to do with this product, or even the anti-aging one, is actually put it on the back of somebody's hands. And I think you guys have probably heard me say this, but I'm going to reinforce this. Your age shows on the back of your hands more than it does any place else in your face. Because think about it. You don't, you, you consciously put sunscreen on your face. And you go, I'm going to protect my face. But we don't consciously put it on our hands. And you think about it, you're driving, you know, the windshield is going to show through the light. You're going to be outside. You haven't put sunscreen on. Your hands actually show your age more than any place else in your body. So what I love to do, and I've seen, and I've done this on a lot of your hands, is you put a little bit on the back of a person's hand, and you start talking to them. And then about 30 seconds later, you have them compare. And they will see the difference. Instead of seeing it on TV, you know, with the guy that's eyes change on the commercial, <laughs> you laugh, but we've all seen it. <laughs> This is your version of that product with CBD and all natural ingredients. So it, it is a very cool product, and you can show somebody those results on their hands. Now, the other cool thing about it is it works instantly, but it also creates a residual effect. So as you use it and you continue to use it, you'll continue to see overall improvement. So you so. You know, if you really wanted to go through the process of going, okay, for 30 days, I'm going to put it on one half of my face, and I'm not going on the other half of your face, you'll see the difference. But who wants to look different on one side of your face as opposed to the other side of your face? So that's why your hand is just a great place to use and, and to show. Um, and you guys are going to, you might want to come check out the back of one, one of my hands, because I've been particularly putting it only in the one spot on my hand every day. And I don't put it on the other hand. And you can see the circle. It's a little bit about a you know, silver dollar size where I've been putting it. And, and I've done that for the last 15 days because I've been out doing, talking about CBD and, and talking to people about CBD. And so I've been doing it. And I, this morning I looked and went, oh, wow, I can see this on my hands. And this morning I didn't even put product on because I want you guys to kind of see how you can really see results long that are long term and not just instant and go away so it's just kind of fun okay so the new product is the massage product so have you, who has had their massages done okay <laughs> I when I walked in and saw those mas massages going on it's like okay I got to figure out that <laughs> but the massage oil works extremely well because think about it, you've got essential oils, you've got eucalyptus, you've got CBD, and what, what you tend to do, and I like to think of it in this fashion also, is the eucalyptus, the essential oils, are going to create that quick result. You're going to feel it. You're going to feel the relaxation that comes with that. And then the CBD gets penetrated into the skin for longer-term results and longer-term soothing. It, it's an awesome product, and it, it really works very well. What? You're a witness. Okay. Like I said, I, I might have to figure out how to get one of those done, you know, after standing up. And, and all of you guys, after a week, a weekend of a show, you're, you're tired. It'll be good. 
would be really good. Intense relief rub, it's had a few names along the process, I understand that. Um, but that has to do with some of the FDA kind of rules and what you can say and can't say and, you know, so anyway, intense relief rub is your longest product. And, and that's the product you guys have all been able to use, show, demonstrate, and have people have instant, you know, mobility relief, instant discomfort relief. You know, I'm going to tell you words that are FDA friendly. <laughs> so, it, so it actually provides those results. And, and the reason I like that product so well is you can demonstrate it. People feel it. And when people feel it, you don't have to give them, well, it, incl it includes all these ingredients. All they know is it worked. You know? It worked. And that's all you got to show them. My, my personal favorite and my husband's per personal favorite is PDQ. So, because, first of all, it starts with an alcohol base. So when you spray it, you f instantly feel the cooling sensation. So you all of a sudden go, oh, it's cold. It's kind of feel numbing. You know, so you get that relief from the alcohol is what's causing that cooling. Then all of a sudden it starts to feel warming. And that's the menthol and eucalyptus that have now kicked in because they warm. So think about it. When you're dealing with pain relief, everybody tells you use ice and heat. We just did that in a spray. Now, and then you, add, then you add in the CBD and the essential oil to provide that longer term relief. So alcohol is the cooling, menthol and eucalyptus is the warming, and then you kick in with all the ingredients that are going to provide you more of that long term results. Now, my husband's a water skier, and he's 65. So let's, let's take this back a ways, and he's crashed and burned a few times in his skiing, a lot of times in his skiing. And, and maybe, you know, took Larry to the court in, the, in, in basketball, but my husband's going to lose because he's six foot tall, and Larry's a little taller than that. So, so he played a lot of basketball. So he hurts, you know, and he still loves to water ski. So what he does is he sprays PDQ about 15 minutes before he's going to go ski because now it's warmed, warmed up his body and he's ready to ski. And then, and then if he took a bad spill, he might be using it again that night. But, you know, it's one of those kind of scenarios where it is something he has in his ski bag always. He uses it every time he skis. So it's, it, it's instant, it's fast, it works. Now let's talk about some general health products. And we were said, you know, the next product down this, so we started out with our lotions and creams, which we know are the top selling products. The next is the vapes, but we're not talk our gummies, but we'll, we'll talk about those later. Then we've got um, tinctures. So let's talk a little bit about tinctures. So once again, it, it's gonna, you, tinctures are a great way to feed your body. Feed that endocannabinoid system. And I like to think of it in this way. Nutrition, 100 years ago, hemp was part of your diet. It had protein, it had fiber, it had omega-3s, antioxidants, and it had CBD. We took it out of our diet. You know, we decided it was going to get us high in the 1940s and just said, nope, can't have that in your diet anymore. So, they, so they're in my head, quite often I go, eh, could this be a source of a lot of the issues that we have? When we go back to the first couple slides up there, it said, you got this system that's looking to be fed, and you're not feeding it, you know? So this is what the tinctures are doing. They're feeding your endocannabinoid system. They're providing your, your body with that, hey, I gotcha, feeling that they're looking for. And depending on your level of health, you know, if you're, if you're a healthy individual, you know, 500 is, is gonna just make sure you continue to be healthy. And you're gonna continue to be at your maximum performance, whether it's your personal life, whether it's your career, whether it's sports. But it's going to ensure, like you would have multivitamin, that you're covered every day. It's your life insurance policy. You know, we like to refer to vitamins and minerals as a life insurance policy because you don't really know, did they work? We, we all believe they work, but we don't know that. And we do it because it's a life insurance policy. 
So if you're a healthy individual, you're going to say, hey, 500 is great. It, it's going to help me be my best. Okay? Then you're going to go to the higher levels if you're looking at, you know, you're just not quite at your maximum performance. So you continue to move up. So, you know, when they start talking about daily dose, you know, the lowest number tends to be 10 to 15 milligrams a day. For, for regular health, the top end up, ends up being 30 to 50 is kind of that normal, you know. But if you've got something really serious, the good thing I love to tell people is, I don't know of any significant side effects from food. This is a food. Now, if you've got health conditions, I would definitely say go talk to your doctor before you start taking major quantities of it. But, you know, there's not any interaction that's been found, that's truly been proven out. This is a food. We source it from hemp. It's been a food for a long time. So this is going to help you deliver it. So it helps. The tinctures are going to help, you know, soothe. They're going to help with anxiety. They're going to promote digestive. They're going to promote the nervous system. Now, to be honest with you guys, we're making a lot of those claims based on the MCT oil that it's delivered in because that keeps us out of the harm's way with the FDA. But we know that it's infused with CBD, which takes it all to the very next level. So, you know, that, that's what I want you to know today because you're starting to hear lots of stuff out there, whether it was the latest, you know, show, uh, you know, in 60 Minutes or wherever it might have been, or CNN, where they start talking about what's the quality, what's the benefits, we don't understand it. I'm trying to make sure that you guys know that everything you've got is top quality quality. You can feel confident in what you're doing. And your customers can. Thank you. <laughs> then, I, then, then you, the next group of products are really all about lifestyle. And I, and I know you guys have heard me say this, but I can't reinforce it enough. Go up to somebody and say, hey, how are you doing today? It opens up everybody to tell you every issue that they personally have. Oh, I'm really tired. The kids were, kept me up last night. You know, I can't sleep. I can't this. I can't that. These are answers to those questions. You know, I can't, I, I don't have enough energy. You know, we're going to give you a little caffeine boost. We're going to give you a vitamin B. We're going to give you CBD. Hey, I, I, you know, I'm really, my weight's really an issue for me. We're going to give you CBD. We're going to give you Garcidian. Garcinian suppresses hunger and increases the metabolism. Helps with weight. Hey, you know, I don't, you know, my bones are just not quite there. My joints are not quite there. Turmeric, it's a known ingredient. All these ingredients that I'm telling you they're infused with are ingredients you guys will recognize and your customers will recognize. Then, of course, we have capsules because that's what I travel with. And traveling with tinctures is a little tough, so I like to take my CBD in a pill. Um, so, but it is, you know, it's similar to the tinctures. It doesn't have the MCT oil, but it's, it does have the CBD in it, and it's very convenient. The blast cap, great for somebody who, so think of it in terms of an, an all-in-one drink. It gives you energy. It gives you workout boost. So energy comes from the T-crin, the vitamin B. It comes with um, BCAAs. The great thing is, is what the boost it gives you in the morning, you could work out immediately. You could potentially take it at noon and then work out. But hey, if you, you don't want to take it, and if anybody's taken the performance blast cap afternoon and can't sleep, <laughs> yeah. I've warned you before, it doesn't work very well. You may be up all night. Um, so you can take this product in the morning and actually see the benefits in the, of your workout no matter what time of the day you're going to work out. Okay? We can't forget pets. That's actually one of the, grow, the biggest growing categories. And let, and let me tell you guys that going, if you've got pets, you're going to want to talk to your vet about it be, and, and can encourage your vet to start in carrying them. Vets are really getting into CBD. Now, they'll, 
they too will say, hey, there's not enough studies. I'm a little nervous about this because that's what doctors and vets do. Unless they've got a stack of paper that's as high as this podium or higher, they don't really feel good about anything. But on the other hand, they're reading. They're seeing it. I, I love this story. They actually had two, two dogs that were brother and sister, and they both had joint issues. <clears throat> so, you know, pets don't know a placebo effect. They don't, they, they don't know, you know, that scenario at all. So they give one pet a pet treat. They didn't give it to the other just to see what the difference was going to be. And within 30 minutes, the one was up and running around and having a grand old time and kind of poking at its sister saying, hey, come join me. So they, you know, of course gave the, the sister the, the treat then immediately too. But you could see the difference in the fact that you gave one pet a pet treat and you didn't give the other one a pet treat. And the mobility was significant. The other thing that it's good for is actually anxiety for a pet. We all know those, those pets that are nervous about thunderstorms, they're nervous about fireworks, you know. My brother has a dog who likes to put, until, he, until we gave him treats, would put his head under the bed. Well, this was a 100-pound dog, so putting its head under the bed didn't really do anything for it other than made Benny feel like he was protected. Um, but the pet treats have made a huge difference for him. He's, at, he's no longer that level of anxiety where he's going to try to stuff his head underneath a bed. So, but once again, we've added ingredients in here. So if somebody says, hey, I don't, I don't really know about this CBD, you can say to them, hey, here's the difference. It's not just CBD. It's got passion flower for, for the ability to calm anxiety. It's got valerian root a little bit so that it helps calm anxiety. Then it's got ginger that helps with the joints. So there, once again, we're putting, prod, putting ingredients in formulas that we had and infuse them with CBD. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish my part of this and then go to questions with this thought. So once again, Larry, Larry will know I've worked on a ton of products over my lifetime. 35 years in the health and beauty space at six different companies. Needless to say, I've seen a lot of formulas. So what we did at Oxygen was take our favorite formulas that we knew worked and infuse them with CBD. So we knew the results, particularly in the, in the topical products and the, and the pet treats, not necessarily the tinctures, because you know that's, that's an individual product unto its own, but the rest of it, we took formulas we knew worked and infuse them with CBD. We are not the typical company, CBD company, who says, hey, I got this pile of CBD and I'm gonna put it in something. Think about it, that's a totally different relationship to the products. We've got proven formulas that we handpicked and infused with CBD, as opposed to, we have a pile of CBD, what are we gonna put it in? I th that's, a, that's a big difference in terms of why our products work and why you see a difference. So anyway, with that, I'm going to kind of give you an overview, hopefully gave you some tidbits in terms of what you can do when you're creating these relationships. And I'll answer questions for a little bit. Because my goal is to make sure you guys stay on time. Because if I screw up the morning, the first session in the morning, the day is messed up. So we'll, we'll go until about 5 to 11 with questions. Got a question back there. Okay, I'm gonna start with my disclaimer that I always have to say. I'm not an actor. Not at all. I can't give medical advice. So when you're talking a specific skin condition, I can't necessarily say this is exactly what, what you do. But that's what I do. But I might start with the rescue and then, because here's the other reason for that, for that order. 
Think about products. When you're doing skincare products, you always want to put the lighter formula on first because it absorbs into the skin faster. And the thicker the formula is, the, the higher up in the, the steps you put it in. So if you're putting two products on, always look at it and say, I'm going to start with the thinnest one and I'm going to layer it with a thicker one. Now, an, another scenario, back to your specific story, you know, sometimes I've seen people actually use tinctures because it absorbs so quickly into the skin. But know that it's got peppermint in it, so sometimes that will cause an irritation. So you're once again, a lot of this is trial and error, but, but t sometimes I've seen people put tinctures directly onto their skin because it's, it's thin, it absorbs. Here's another fun fact. So topical products, you don't have to have as much CBD in them because think of it this way. If I'm putting it on wherever it hurts or wherever I want to look younger, I put it right where, I, right where those cells need it. I'm going to put it on those cells. It says, hey, cells, here it is. Now, if I've got a tincture, I've got to actually give, give your body more because it's going into your body, into your bloodstream, and it's going, hey, hey, who needs me? Who needs me? You know? So it's, you've got to give more and it's got because it's going to spread out. If you're putting it on topically, you can put it right on where it hurts or where you need the results because it's addressing that. So that's why quite often in skincare products and topical products, you're going to see less CBD because it's going, hey, cell, here I am. I'm right here for you. Okay. Next question. Awesome. Awesome. Those are the kinds of stories we love to hear. This mic doesn't go anywhere. Okay. Because <laughs> originally I was going to take this around. It was like, this mic doesn't go anywhere. Or maybe we can, oh, he's got it. Why don't you just come on up? Get in the line. I've got enough, I, I've, the first eight people that it, are here, I'll answer your questions and I'll give you the mic. I can repeat the last one. So her granddaughter has the exact same conditions as were talked about in the back. And they use Rescue first and the moisturizing cream second. And they've seen the condition pretty much go away. Okay. So you got a mic there that works? Short testimony. Yeah. Uh, I love these. My wife and I, we own two parrots. And one of them has a severe plucking problem with around his feathers around his neck. And about six months ago, she started putting tincture in his bird food. Now his feathers are all over the place. Awesome. Nice. Very cool. All right. What question do we have here? Where, where am I? Come, come here. I oh. got you. Right here. She's got you. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hey. Anyway, hey. don't give me a microphone because I may start saying. Anyway, <laughs> um, okay. I've been talking to my girlfriend who's a pharmaceutical who, expert. They are the worst. Anyway, um, mm. she, no, for real. She basically said to me, because everything I tell her, she said, uh-huh, that sounds great, Sabrina. However, um, I would need five years to see what it does to you and your other people. And I'm like, what are you talking about? I'm like, it's natural. It's holistic. I mean, look at the ingredients. I may not be able to read them or see them, but I know it works. <laughs> you guys, look at my face. Don't I great? Yeah. Yes. Okay, thank you. Um, anyway. So, um, no pain, no gain. So, what do you say to individuals who are skeptical? Because, like you said, we're infusing it with the CBD, but it's not just like CBD and then, you know, it's like we're getting it and then there's no work. So, how long...
can I really say that the research has been done? Because I know it has been done, and that we're just infusing it now with the CBD. So it's not going to be a lie, but can I say that it has been over for the five years? Yeah, so here we go. Awesome. Thank Can you. <laughs> cannabis and CBD research has been going on for 20 years. 20 years. Okay. So, you know, it's, it's varying studies. Okay, let's all be real. The study started in Colorado, so... Right. Let's let's well, take that, for, for that for <laughs> what it's worth. <laughs> um, but on the other hand, they, it's been done at the University of Colorado. Mm -hmm. They've got a lot of studies that they've started. That's how they found the endocannabinoid system to begin with. Wow. Was the fact that they were studying to say, hey, how come this cannabis is impacting bodies in so many different ways from a health standpoint as opposed to just getting high? So that's wow. where it really started was... Oh, and that's why the endocannabinoid system is called what it is, is because it's the cannabinoids that they realized impacted this regulating system. So there, so so research has been going on for 20 years. Mm -hmm. the but for oxygen, can we say for oxygen? For what, what I we can do, say, what can we say, <laughs> is that there are proven formulas mm -hmm. that have been around in some cases for decades that we've infused with CBD. Awesome. Thank you. All righty. Okay. 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 I'll stand with you. Hi, how you doing? Um, Great. I have a question um, in regards to a pediatrician is using the tinctures on a small child with ADD, ADHD, and um, they're getting great results. They're just not. Con they're just not clear on how much they should give. Now we know, you know, age difference, but for a 12-year-old, that's 150 pounds. How much CBD are, should they be giving them? They're doing a 500 milligram. Should it be half a dropper, a few drops? What, is your, what do you suggest? If it's a 500, mm -hmm. once again, not a doctor. Can't yeah. recommend. Exactly. Um, but a full tincture a day is not going to hurt. A full tincture a day? So now that we have the gummies. Because it's MCT oil and CBD. That's it. Right. All right. So now that we have the gummies now, would you, would you if it were you, if with your child, you can do maybe a tincture um, in the morning and a gummy in the evening, or is that too much CBD? What? So Nelson's going to be going over more of this tomorrow. Okay. And this, and now I see Nelson back there in the back of the room. He'll definitely have my head if I go down much okay. this path. So let's well, well, can you tell us how, many, how much milligrams are in the gummies? Nelson, can we find out how much milligrams are in the gummies, please? <laughs> Ten. All right. <laughs> So He's giving you that information, so I'm safe. Thanks, boss. So 10 per gummy. So, so 10 per gummy, and then maybe a full dropper of the 500 milligrams. So that's probably between maybe 15 milligrams from the dropper they're getting and then 10 from the gummy. Yep. Okay. So that's 25 milligrams. That's pretty cool. That's, thank you so that's much. That's really cool. Thank you. Yep. Bye. All right. Thank you, guys. All right. We're going to keep these quick because i got to make sure uh, I'm on how time. How you doing? Uh, I'm great. Great, great just want to ask you something one of the problems that I have with a lot of people that's that's taking medication uh, I have a friend that's taking cumin in and they, they any anybody taking medicine they, they hear about CBD that can make the change but they're taking medication so they kind of leery about taking using it so she asked me well I don't know how it works with this with the, with the cumin in so I, I googled it to see how CBD works with with cumin in that being a blood thinner it said that because they both act, uh, act on on the on the chemical or the, the what's in the body, yep. that it, it actually could cause a blood clot. So, what what do you like? How do you get yeah. around people that's taking medicine? Do you tell them stop using the medicine, or I mean, how would no, never, never, never. Yeah, right. <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. So, so here here's here's the first thing you always say. You know. It's, been re it's being researched, and it has been researched for the last 20 years. It's the hottest trend in nutrition and health. You know, you should ask your doctor for advice, if, particularly if they're on a medication. You do not want to do anything that gets you down a path of medication interference or something goes wrong and then say, hey, it was the CBD I did. So you always want to say that. Now my backup scenario that I quite often say to people is, hey, it's a food, you know? Small, don't go out and get crazy with the amount you're taking, but it's a food. Mm. And leave it at that. Don't get, you know, don't go down the path of, you know, you can say research it yourself, it's a food, you know. You don't want to give medical advice. 
Okay. But the key answer I always give everybody, it's a food. Okay. All and right. it is. And that you can stand behind. Okay? All right. Thank you. Yep. Okay. Hi, my name is Patricia Lloyd. I um, had an incident where I sold, you know, the, the product that is supposed to uh, help with underneath the eye. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, black folks, it leaves a gray film. And he came back and wanted his money. Okay, so here we go. Let me help you with that question before I even go further down this process because I can tell you exactly what. So, yes, it does. It One does. of the key ingredients that makes it work ha has a, is white base in nature. So the form that, that ingredient is, is white. So it does provide. But here's the key, guys. You do not need much. If you are putting it on enough or your customer is putting on enough that it's leaving a film, they're putting on too much. Okay. So a little goes a long way. So if you're putting on enough where it leaves a residue and they can see it turning a grayish color, they're using too much. Okay. Also. Yeah, it's, right, not, it's right. not makeup. That's a good comment. Okay. So also he said he had an, a hard time getting it out of the container because you shake it mm -hmm. and, and he was saying he had a hard time getting it out of the container when he did get it out then he put it on and followed the instructions you know what i'm saying yeah follow the instructions <laughs> right so is there is there something wrong with the the no. dispenser no so so what happens is when you shake things it has to have it has to build have the ability to settle back to the bottom because the i call it a dipper tube that's the technical word for it so the dipper tube has to go to the bottom of the package where the product is so if you've shaken it enough and it's now on the sides of the product or up into the bottle, particularly when you're now near the end of the product, it's got to have a chance to sit down so that the dipper tube gets the product that's at the bottom. It's not on the sides of the walls. Okay, so that, but it does work. It does work. Okay. Exactly like it's supposed to. They just have, if, if you're near the bottom, you got to let, let it settle back down the bottom so the dipper tube goes, yep, I've got it. Here it is. Okay. Okay? Thank you. I got time for one more Thank question. You. Here we go. Okay, uh, I don't have a question. I just have a small uh, testimony. I'll try to make it real fast. My husband broke his leg about seven or eight years ago. Uh, his uh, truck rolled down and cra crushed in between his uh, car and truck. And he put a big sore after he had to be hospitalized on his leg. So I just want to, I have a testimony about the rescue moisturizing cream. Uh, this is a before picture. Okay. Uh, it looks nasty. Uh, make it, it's, it's Sorry. Real, it looks real nasty. <laughs> but we've been using the moisturizing cream, and if he would have done it every day, it would have been gone less than a month. But this is where you can see his skin now from using the moisturizing cream. So you're po posting that, I hope. I'm going to post it, yes. I told <laughs> Nelson about it yesterday, but it, it, that it, is awesome. it stops the itching, and uh, it is, all the skin is almost back now. And this is a perfect point to stop because – this is the kind of results you're going to see. Proven formulas infused with CBD drive results. And, you know, when you get results like that that are that visual, they just work. They just sell themselves. So thank you very much. I'm going to be at the booth. You can ask away. Oh, the note is my training will be on, available on my.5links.com. You, you got, I got, I got two minutes. What do we got? Okay, I, I'm sort of stammered right now because I did have a lot to say. I was, um, so let me tell you about me. Okay. My uh, testimony is the Captivita. You know, the burning of the hands, the swelling of the leg, and the burning in the feet. And I had that for a while. Didn't know I had sugar diabetes. Didn't know you had high Didn't blood sugar. Didn't know I had it. You know, sugar up. diabetes. Okay. And so taking it one night in fury, just taking it because it was something I, had, I hadn't tried. And I woke up in the morning, there was no pain, there was no swelling. So I became not only an involved uh, 
operator, as they call me at the hospital. And I go to the hospital, because I've been in the hospital for five days last month. And they went through everything, and the lady who handles the medication came up to my room to bring me two pills. And she said she wanted to see the lady that was 84 years old and only was taking one form of medication. And I told all of them that was on CBD. And so the, a doctor came and sat by my bed and interrogated me. I thought he was asking questions. But he interrogated me for half an hour, and I said, you keep telling me you haven't found anything wrong. Is there something going on I don't know? He said, no, I want to see what you got or may have that CBD ain't helping you. <laughs> because they are there to turn you away from CBD. But my faith is so that I have a nine-year-old great-grand who's threatening to lose his sight that we're now using the tensions on by uh, his doctor's approval. So if you want faith in what you got, that'll help you, you sell it no matter it. what you say. Perfect. Thanks, everybody.